Bill Belichick and Pete Carroll are older. Greg Zerline, who had that fantastic onside kick last year that led to a big comeback win against Atlanta. Jaden Mickens is back to receive. The smoke is cleared from the fireworks display. 66,000 looking on. Temperature about 80. It's dry after a day of rain in Tampa. And off we go in 2021 with a touchback. And here comes Tom Brady. For the first time before a full house as a Tampa Bay Buccaneer. Never started a game with his team eliminated from the playoffs. That is amazing. Leonard Fournette is the running back on first down. That's Gronkowski, the familiar figure in motion. They start on the ground, and Fournette with a gain of about five to the 30. Let's take a look at the Tampa Bay offense. They did a great job at right tackle. Second down and five on the opening series. Ground again. Here goes Fournette this year. Changing his number back to number seven. Third and two. Let's take a look at the Dallas defense. Demarcus Lawrence. Bam. Third down and two now. And the ex-Bengal, Giovanni Bernard, comes in. He's going to play the same role that basically James White played all of those years for Brady in New England. Tom out of the pocket. Take him off the spot. And the throw is incomplete intended for Chris Godwin. So to punt after the three and out, Cedric Wilson sets up at his own 20 for the return. An angle kick and a deep kick and a beautiful kick, which wow. is going to be spotted at the two yard line. So no action in the preseason he was on the shelf for about three weeks before he started throwing on a pitch count but ready to rip we'll find out they empty the backfield on his first play from scrimmage hangs in the pocket and wide open and the catch is made at the 29 by Amari Cooper so how is that for an immediate answer yeah in the offseason First carry of the year for Ezekiel Elliott, who's won two rushing titles. And C.D. Lamb coming out of the backfield. Prescott goes over the middle, and that's caught to the 40-yard line. Close to a first down is Dalton Schultz, who became the starter last year after Blake Jarwin was hurt on opening night in Los Angeles. They've got two running backs in, Elliott and Tony Pollard both. And they give it to the up man. And that is Elliott. So Elliott lines up as the fullback, Pollard as the tailback, and Tampa Bay is right there where they're going to spot it. First down. Different look from the Cowboys. Now Elliott had lined up wide, but he comes back in to the backfield. Cooper goes in motion. And the handoff goes to Elliott to the 45. Let's take a look at the Cowboy offense. Penn State, Mel Collins, LSU. Missing a key figure, Zach Martin on the COVID list, the right guard. Prescott now throws. Good screen is set up to the outside. There goes Schultz, and that's a first down. Big time, great looking opening drop. Dying spot that they were a season ago. All three outside receivers can now play any position. Five minutes into the game, off play action. Prescott fires and sliding to the ground is C.D. Lamb. No good. Second down and 10. For his three and out, waiting, watching right now this drive. This is the eighth play of the Dallas drive, starting at the two. Second down and 10, and the take to Elliott, the pass is dropped. Dropped by C.D. Lamb, who had nine drops left. Third and 15. From the 44. It's coming. Pass is incomplete to the outside. Levante David blitzing that time, put the heat on. So it's fourth and 15. Jaden Mickens sets up at his own 10 yard line. So a good start to the drive, but then bogs down. A floating kick. And 
inbound inside the 10 yard line, go out of bounds at around the seven. And Brady will go to work from. And it really shows up. You can tell how much they care for each other. Antonio Brown in the game, wide to the right. One of the guys that Arians had when he was the coordinator with the Steelers. Brady fires and his pass is complete to the 21 yard line to Mike Evans for a first down. Trayvon Diggs. Tom Brady and. So you better get there quickly. To the line they came. No huddle. The pass is to the outside as the pressure was on that time. Intended for Mike Evans, who's been picked up by McCarthy during the offseason. Cornette in the game here. Second down and 10. Brady in the pocket. Fires a dart to Gronkowski. Over the middle. To the 41 yard line. Gain of 20. In the pocket. They couldn't move him off the spot. There he is again, going deep down the right sideline, and Brown is there to haul it in. Antonio Brown, who joined the team in mid-year last year, beats Anthony. In my mind, one of the unsung heroes of that championship season a year ago. Big postseason. After kind of half the regular year on the outside goes this pass, Brown again. And that'll be a first down as they wrap him up to the 16. Of course, the NFL's wayward son for a while, all kinds of, of issues. Yeah, I think Matt Moore do Antonio Brown the money. Play clock is at two to give it to Fournette. To the 14, we go to Michelle. Well, I spoke to Antonio Bryan about Brady's active support of him. He said there were the Steelers, second down and seven. Godwin is the man in motion. Brady protected well. Fires. That's caught. And that's going to be enough for a first down to the six yard line. Godwin making the grabs of this drive, which began back. And Keanu Neal or Jalen Smith and Landon, uh, Landon Vander Esch. So it's sort of interesting. They've almost come up with two different defenses. And that's success in this drive. And that pass is caught by Godwin for the touchdown. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers, who went a rapid three and out on their opening drive. And I tell you, this ball's been sort of screaming up and down the field here lately and finally got a touchdown. Ryan Suckup, recently off the COVID list, kicks his first extra point. Did not put it into the end zone. Tampa Bay's return unit gave up about 34 yards per clip, which is pretty bad. Touch back here. We go to Michelle. Well, Al, because of the injury to his right lat, Dak has a... And Michelle keeps flipping those hips as he's done throughout his career in pregame. Took a good golf swing. Here's Pollard taking the pass. He gets it out to the 36-yard line. So Pollard... Much better shape he is in. The kind of movement skills they're seeing from him. Him as a receiver. This time out of the pistol, this is Michael Gallup. And he's able to work his way out for close to the new daddy. Had a baby last week, his wife and my good on offense. The drop pass by C.D. Lamb really stopped that first drive along with that penalty. Second and two, Prescott under pressure, fires right on the money, and that's Gallup again to the 44-yard line, goes Michael. Out wide. He comes back in now, and they flip it to him. He fakes the flip to Cooper and turns in a decent run. To the 36 yard line. The play looked like it would be stymied in the backfield. Instead, he gets uh, to the third. Testa. There you go. Second down and three. Back at four. Prescott rolling and looking and throwing, and the pass along the sideline. Caught inbounds. Gallup. Three grabs on this. Antonio Holmes. Right in that corner down there. Super Bowl, Pittsburgh, Arizona, back in the 08 season. And a fake into the outside. That's caught to the 22 yard line. Blake Jarwin, they expected so much from him to go in the opening quarter. Here comes the blitz. Fake throw. Prescott hangs in. Throws caught. That is Lamb. And Lamb is as the field judge looks at it a touchdown. C.D. Lamb, 22 yards to game. Murphy Bunting got hurt on the play. We'll check on him. He came to the sideline. Zerline for the extra point. 
We're not at its seven. There's a viewing party going on at uh, AT&T Stadium in Dallas. They're watching the game. It's great to have everyone back. I even missed the traffic jams. <laughs> no, you didn't. No, not really. But, you know, <laughs> kind of, sort of. And that kick will bound through the end zone. The only key guys are back, top to bottom, but depth. I mean, you got to pay the price by paying the guys up front. What about depth, though? Here's Ronald Jones. Stopped there for a game of three. Nice tackle there by Anthony Brown. Second down and fair. When he just started feeling confident in what he was doing, all of a sudden he took off, and he really had a great year. Nice two-headed running back situation, and here goes Brown again to the 45-yard line. So Brown's season off to a great start. He's over. There's Antonio Brown right behind him. We've been watching that for 20 years for Brady. Jones plows his way ahead for a gain of four. Going to the middle fourth year back out of USC. Picked in the second round. That'll be second down, and it's called five. It was such an issue for this football team trying to stop the run a season ago. And Ash, you want to get right back out there? And Brady's just taking all the momentum back. Trouble stopping the run and the deep pass. Brady was able to hold on to the ball. That was Dorrance Armstrong who came in, hit his arm, but he's able to hold on third down and five. I don't know how he did that. This is a Drew Spengler playing the, the James White role. In fact, the two of them were on in White were teammates in Florida in high school. Brady dancing, looking, has time, fires, and that's going to be incomplete. Intended that time for Brown, and that's going to take us to the end of a spirited first quarter on opening night. 7-7 is the score.